And hello YouTube, this is Thomas Judge back once again and this time it's not a tutorial video. It's going to be a video showing off a custom print and custom bind for an omnibus that I had made. Um, without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. It's from a series called Sentinel, which was originally published between 2003 and 2004. This is um, issue one here with a great cover. Um, and these are basically going to be a quick overview of the issues that are bound in it. You've got issue two, issue three, issue four issue 5 and issue 6 which comprises the first arc um, of the story and you'll see there the image on issue 6 is a really good one as you can imagine I'd use it for my dust jacket which you'll see in a second then we've got issue 7 that image there I will highlight in a moment as well because I've used that for a filler page in the omnibus if you don't know what that is you should really watch my tutorial videos that explain how I do this and um, then you've got issues 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 which again is a great sort of splash image and um, that comprises the first arc of the sentinel story which is from 2003 to 2004 however i then decided to also include the second volume of sentinel which is only a five issue series starting in 2005 and that's got issue one here with an amazing image and then just issues two three four and five um, and those are the 17 issues I threw into the omnibus. So um, I'm just going to chat about it a bit. But whilst I do, I've had a few comments saying people will actually a bit more of a flick through. So I'm going to jump straight into that and let you guys have a have a look at that whilst I chat. So um, the Sentinel series is it's a really cool series, kind of a young adult Marvel comic series from the early 2000s. And um, it involves um, a kid called Justin who finds a Sentinel. Um, repairs the Sentinel. It's kind of like an Iron Giant type story. He befriends the giant robot, etc., etc. Um, it's really sweet. It's really touching. Obviously, there's a lot of tension and pathos because he doesn't quite realise that the Sentinel he's found and repaired and befriended is actually a mutant, hunting, murderous machine. And so it's got a great, great kind of storyline, great narrative arc there. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, they've only ever done the two volumes, so volume one being 12 issues, volume two being five issues. And they have been collected, but, and this is something which a lot of you may not have heard of, Marvel collected it in their Marvel Digest format. And Marvel Digest is, if you imagine, like a really small, kids-friendly version of a comic. So it's not normal comic size. They all came out in normal single-issue floppy size. Those are the ones that I had, those are the ones I sliced and I scanned and I put together to make this custom print. But when they actually released them as a collection, and to be honest, I was totally happy just to buy a normal trade paperback collection, um, they actually released them in digest size, which is about the size of a Reader's Digest magazine, if you know what that is. If you don't know what that is, essentially it's a couple of inches shorter and a couple of inches narrower than a normal floppy comic. So it actually was shrunk down in the trade collections. Horrific. I, I can't stand this. Marvel don't do this for much, but they do sometimes do it for their young adult collection, their young adult comics like Runaways and things like that, as I recall. I don't really know much about them because I just think it's a terrible format and I would never use it. So when I found out that these comics were only ever available in that digest format, I thought, right, I'm going to have to do a custom bind, which is what you see here, and I'll show you a bit more detail on that in a second. What I will say is the storyline is great. Oh, you see there the back page, um, which was from that issue 7 cover. Um... I'll come back to that again in a second, but that's, that's a filler page, um, which I've used in my custom binds. Again, if you want to know what that's about, you need to watch some of my tutorial videos, but it helps with the left to right pacing of the comic and the page. They're making sure it all, all works out well. Um, so yeah, you'll see there in the comic there, totally front to back, no adverts, classic custom bind like I normally do. Um, in terms of what I was saying about the storyline, like I said, it's a great story about a young boy befriending a sentinel. Um, for anyone that's read Grant Morrison's new X-Men, this character is nothing to do with the characters of Tom and Rover, although thematically they're very similar. If you haven't read new X-Men, you don't know what I'm talking about, then just ignore me entirely. That's absolutely fine. Um, so what I want to show you now is um, some pictures of the comic, just so you can see what it, what it looks like. Um, what we have here is just the uh, Sentinel Omnibus by itself, just against a white background. It's got some shadows, sorry about that, but that's what it looks like. Obviously, it looks great. Um, as those of you that watch my videos regularly will be aware, the whole point of doing this custom print and bind is to make sure that they line up perfectly with um, an actual official Marvel Omnibus. And here we have it next to Captain America, 
Return of the Winter Soldier. I actually picked this up a couple of days ago um, for 80% off cover. It's brand new, shrink wrap, just out in the wild in a comic shop. Um, I gather this is a whale. Like, this is a difficult omnibus to find. It's out of print, but um, I snapped it up for literally about £30. Pound. Um, anyway, does, doesn't matter. Um, that's the Captain America Return of the Winter Soldier. And here you see Sentinel on top of Captain America Return of the Winter Soldier. You see it lines up perfectly. So on the shelf, it looks absolutely great. So, um, with enough sort of pattern and banter from me, I thought I'd show you guys um, another flick through. I actually filmed it twice and I thought, you know what, they're both short flick throughs. I'll let you guys have a look at it. But this time now, I'll talk you through it. That's the cover. That's the logo on the side, which I really, really like. Um, and then this is the rear image. If you've seen some of my other work, you'll know that I tend to go for this sort of very minimalist, backgroundless design for my dust jackets. I just prefer it. Um, it suits my personal aesthetic just for nice, clean, minimalist lines. Bit of blurb on the inside there with the Sentinel logo. It didn't go for any other complicated imagery or pictures or anything like that. Um, and you can see there the end leaves are just plain black. Uh, frankly, because I couldn't think of anything cool to put in there. Um, and when in doubt, always play it safe and go with black. So uh, here I'm taking off the dust jacket and you'll see the plain black buckram underneath. Um, Absolutely standard. I tend not to get these things embossed or printed because it's expensive and cumbersome. Um, although one of my next projects might actually be dabbling in that. And then just sort of flicking through this. Um, as you saw in the earlier flick through, this is just exactly the reason why you do custom binds and custom printed comics. It's a uh, wall to wall, it's no adverts, it's full bleed, it's had any kind of um, defects from the original cleaned up and removed, uh, most notably the little weird bar it tends to have at the top of every single page in early 90s and early 2000 comics. Um, if you want to know a bit more about that, my other videos talk about it in a lot more detail and I have tutorials on how to do it because people kept on asking me loads and loads of questions. Um, all I want to do today is really just show off Sentinel. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, as you can see again, there's that um, back page image, which I really, really liked. Um, and yeah, it's just a great comic. Really glad to have this in omnibus format. I can totally see why Marvel didn't bother making this into an omnibus because um, whilst it was popular-ish, um, it wasn't, I think, popular enough to warrant uh, omnibus format. Although having said that, I think it's a shame they didn't at least release it as an OHC, like they did with um, Runaways from the same era, OHC being oversized hardcover. Um, but hey, as I always say to everyone who watches my channel, please do not let the varying vagaries and oddness of the major publishing houses influence or bind your comic collection. You shouldn't be hemmed in by what they do. All of us together, we can make our comic collections exactly the way that we want to make them. And so here we are, final image of Sentinel. Hope you like it. So that's all for me guys, um, as usual please like, comment, subscribe, as usual please support the channel by heading over to nogodsorkings.com and picking up the first um, episode of my episodic prose novel about superheroes, that would be great, you can get that from Amazon as well for less than a dollar. Um, going forward, this is probably going to be my last video like this this year, I am going to be doing more videos, in fact I'm going to be quite a lot more videos and I'll be starting those in a couple of weeks time and essentially I'm planning to do a... Um, well, it's going to be something unique, which you wouldn't have seen on the internet before, um, to do with reading orders in a really comprehensive, detailed way. And they're going to be quite a long series of videos. So I'll probably be dropping one every single day for about a month from mid-November till mid-December. Um, each video is going to be quite extensive, quite detailed. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys will like it. Um, please let me know your thoughts about Sentinel and what you just think about generally what's happening with the channel and the way things are going. Um, and as always, like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, stay classy.